Not too many decades ago, Oregon Commerce didn't move on asphalt or concrete highways like I-5 and Interstate 84, but on liquid highways like the Columbia and Willamette Rivers. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and this week, we get to touch a piece of Oregon living history on the Willamette River. Come on along. We're exploring Portland from a different point of view on the Sternwheeler Portland. Step aboard the Sternwheeler Portland and let imagination guide you on a river cruise to help answer one important question. If you don't know where you've come from, how are you gonna know where you're going? Nearly 70 years ago, the Portland was built to earn her keep at a time when the city of Portland's waterfront was surging with commerce. Let's slip down below. Ron Youngman knows every square inch of the Portland, stem to stern. This is where everything starts. He's a good man to show you how it all works, like the diesel-fired boilers that produce 1,800 horsepower. Uh, we can go with one burner, two burners, or three burners, depending upon what we're doing. Burners generate steam to move 26-inch steel pistons that push two nine-foot-long connecting rods that make the gigantic 25-foot paddle wheel go round and round. There are very, very few steamboats still in today's world. In fact, Sternwheeler Portland shouldn't be here at all. Back in 81, a handful of volunteers found her in a wrecked heap parts and pieces strewn across the waterfront. But they were inspired. And folks like Jim Spitzer volunteered countless hours and raised nearly a million dollars to restore the city's namesake Sternwheeler, built by the Port of Portland. Today, the Portland is a floating museum, and Clark Carthill is proud to guide passengers on half-day tours. Portland developed because of the waterfront, because of commerce because of boats like this. That fact, plus the scenery, are not lost on visitors. When I heard about it, I had to take it. It just feels like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, you know? The Oregon Maritime Museum keeps the Sternwheeler Portland's working history alive, outdoors and indoors, with exhibits, photos, and models that show you how steam-powered shipping was the foundation of Oregon's economy timber, agricultural products, uh, all kinds of raw resource materials that were you know, coming out of the valley came to Portland to get it here and that was the most economical way to do it. This was a super highway of cargo. The Oregon Maritime Museum has more tours scheduled throughout this year. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can make your own river adventure. And if you're on the lookout for more Oregon adventures, be sure to check out my new book, Grant's Getaways, a guide to wildlife watching in Oregon. Inside the book, you'll find 48 uniquely Oregon adventures, highlighting many of our fish and wildlife encounters through the years. Each adventure will set you on your own path, discovering more about Oregon. Scores of colorful photos by getaway photographer Jeff Kastner show off some of our finest moments in the field. So until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.